Hi there and welcome to the let's play of Dungeon Hack. I am Byron. Swamp, bloom and vine, a fog does rise to cloud my mind, to hide the prize I seek to find. O oh, ancient orb, where rest you now? My lady, I have answered your summons. I am prepared to... Yes, I see it. A place of traps to crack brave bones. There lies the orb, far, far away. An ancient dungeon, and within it lies the orb. It's a strong magic that can point to maps. Now what will you be paying me to fetch the ore? There lies gold and gem enough for any man. Take what you will, but return the orb to me. You'll pay me now, or I'll never get there. I need horses, supplies... Enough! Let the journey begin! Never argue with mages. Live or die, adventurer, and bring the orb to me. On what? My insides feel all twisted about. Shall we see what awaits? So am I, and hopefully so are you. Dungeon Hack, an official advanced Dungeons and Dragons second edition computer game. That, my friends, is a dungeon crawler, a roguelike game if you want. You have one character and you guide him or her through a dungeon, trying to get the orb that is hidden at the bottom of the dungeon, and try to survive the ordeal. You can choose between several uh, pre-generated characters, as you can see here. And you will be guiding a you know a character that has been created after AD and D rules through that dungeon, which makes it a little difficult because truth be told, that set AD and D that has been created for party role playing games. And here you only have one character. So for instance, well having a fighter, you could send a fighter in there, uh but it would take you would have to have to rest for months to get his hit points back because he doesn't have any uh, curative magics. Um, wait, that that picture is from um, thingy um, the summoning. Well, it's, that also is an AD and D game, I guess, or is it? I don't know. An SSI game, at least. No, it's probably not AD and D. No, no, no. Just, but it was published by SSI. Well, that is a picture from I have to be all the three. And now we are back at the beginning. So, well, you could pick one of those characters, but I don't think this is a good idea. I'd rather create my own character. 
And so you can choose a class, you can choose any class, it works, a bot could survive that, it would just probably take him years, but whatever if that's what you want to do. I prefer a multi-class character, for instance this here, Fighter, Cleric, Mage, that is almost a whole party in one person. Um, you, we like the Thief abilities, but you can do without that. So, you can of course re-roll the stats if you want to, but I'd prefer to just to modify them. And if we want to have you know, like one character battle his way through a dungeon, well, he should better be a paragon. So, well, uh, the maximum is 26 hit points. You have to be a half if you want to be a fighter cleric mage. And a lion is neutral good. I doubt it makes any difference in the game here, but whatever. That's good. And now you can choose a face. There are several character portraits on two pages here. And I don't know. Does this guy remember you of somebody? That's right, Mr. T. So now you create your dungeon. The dungeon is always randomly generated when you start a new game. So, well, every game should be a little different, but you can uh, define a few parameters. For instance, I set everything to hard. But I will deactivate the real um, the character real death. Well, if that is on, it means if your character dies, then the game automatically deletes all your save files uh, that has been made with this character. Of course, you could manually back them up outside of the game if you wanted to, but well. Uh, but there are death traps in this game. For instance, you might stumble across a book, and if you read that book, it might kill you instantly. <laughs> so, I don't want that. And the dungeon depth is per if you go to hard, it is, uh, the dungeon has 25 levels. The problem is at the highest difficulty you get that many experience points that uh, you will probably reach at uh, the maximum level at 15 or something like that. So I reduced the dungeon size to 17. Monster amount is very high. I will increase the treasure amount because, well, treasure is fun. And maybe one little bit more of food availability. Illusionary walls are on key frequency. Oh, good God, put that down. Because, well, the game will just clock your inventory with keys. Not a good not a good thing. Magical traps, pit frequency is high. We want hints. Why not? Uh, they're fun. Magical zones, water levels, multi-level puzzles, encounter undead, all that fun stuff will be in the game. Food consumption is at max. Monster difficulty is at max, magic power is at max, poison strength is at max. We save those settings and actually start playing the game. Okay, and now the dungeon gets randomly generated. Strangely, this is the third time I'm doing this. I had to modify. Uh, oh, great! What a warm welcome I get. I had to modify the parameters again because a world of two dungeons I generated actually led nowhere. Maybe a bug in the in the game. I don't know. I ended in a in the dungeon in the first level where I couldn't progress. I couldn't reach the stairs that lead down. As weird as that may seem. Okay, but I I changed some parameters, treasure amount and food availability and stuff, and maybe that helps. I don't know. We shall see. May maybe 17 is an unlucky number in this game. Weird. Okay, uh, pray for spells. Four cure light wounds. That's actually cool. I don't want a whole person, though. I'd rather have a spiritual hammer. Thank you. And that's it. And uh, memorize spells. I want to detect magic. Then we will rest and save the game. Show the numbers, please. 26 hit points is not much, but we will take it. This is the way out of the dungeon. I can't leave yet. I have work to do. Okay. A puddle of water formed on the floor here. It is extremely cool to the touch. So, what did we just kill? We 
we killed a hobgoblin and an orc. The first one was an orc, the later one a hobgoblin. Okay. And then here's the Hall of Fame. You see we have 80 hit po experience points. I had 1116 uh, when I couldn't progress anymore. Uh, let's try again here. So yeah, and um, the game measures the XP you have gotten in the game, and this uh, that way it de determines your rank. And you see, uh, Mr. T is a level two fighter, level three cleric, level two mage. There are level caps for each profession, even for a triple class character. And the last time I played this game, I kind of reached a level cap on level fifteen or something around that. And yeah, this is when I quit the game because well, it's no fun to play. An RPG when you can't progress anymore. Oh, hi. Bye. So, we have two rations. That's not really much. And we have found our first key, a fire key. And the mage scrolls slow. Very nice. That opens a passage. Somebody clo- no. What is that? This appears to be some sort of ward or warning to trespassers. It's not working. I certainly hope that this creature only appears in this dungeon as a tapestry and not in the flesh. Hi. Bye. Another key. Maybe I should reduced, um, should have reduced the key frequency some more. Which way? I say we go down first. Is that something? No. Um, that's weird though. Normally I think the game would always generate a dungeon that uh, well you actually can walk through. No, I need a copper key probably. No, I need actually a red key. A key that I do not have. How unpleasant. Well, we could go up here and check that. Oh, since we are here we could also look for Illusionary walls. There is none, okay. How about we slay you? Or oh, maybe not. What the fuck? Oh, well, I missed. Hey, what's that? A citrine ring. Nothing lying on the floor here. No. I wonder what these are for. Hmm, for chaining people to the wall, probably? Hi. No sneaking up on Mr. T. Yeah, you don't have that key. Well, well, well. This is going nowhere fast. Well, we have three keys. None of them fit. So I guess we start looking for illusionary... No, 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 there's here, there's a passage here. Oh god, I don't want to start looking for illusionary walls because this is how the, fir uh, the first uh, two other trials ended nowhere. I'll never make it through here, I'll have to find another way, that's true. Hi, thanks for opening the door for me. Aha, uh -huh. more keys. That probably is a good thing. And a coin.
Hey. Okay. If you put the coin in here, you get healed. I assume if you put a gold coin in here, you get healed more than if you would just put a silver coin in there. But that's just an assumption right now. We can try that out later. When we actually have several coins and a large amount of missing hit points. Well, there's nothing in here. A big room full of nothing. What is that? A purple mullet. That's also a key item. Should have reduced the key frequency some more. Cobwebs. One might expect to find them in dungeons such as this. One might. Oh, finally a lock that fits one of my keys. <laughs> we can play this game. All day long. You open it, I close it. <laughs> Somebody is sneaking up on me here. Can't have that. An amulet. I, I certainly hope that this creature only appears in this dungeon as a tapestry and not in the flesh. But if it appears in the flesh, I hope it does so when Mr. T is a little more high leveled than he is right now. That's it. Oh well. Ah, an illusionary wall. This wall seems funny somehow, yeah. I'm laughing my ass off right now. Um, a purple potion. Come on, get closer and die. What is that? Mage Scroll of Invisibility, we scribe that, and a Hemlock Wand. Nothing happens. Well, what does it do then? I have no idea. We need an improved identifier if we want to find out. Well, that button was well hidden. Hey, what's that? A book. This is one of the things that could kill you. There's something lying there. A dart. Ah, that worked nicely. This fountain has long been unused and now only holds a thick layer of dust. And you are shooting darts. Yes, you are. Let's take a look at the map. Mm hmm. I hope I have a key for that now. Let's try that book. Where is it? Here. See? Fuck. How about we don't do it then? Um, hello? Are you with me? What's so difficult? Take your time. It's not like we're in a hurry or anything. Uh, would, would have done that 3494. Four. Anything for our 3494? Four. <coughs> no. We just took damage apparently. Good. 
Whatever. Not the biggest problem. Oh, guess what? More mo Oh, fuck. Shit, shit, shit. That's a troglodyte. That can drain our strength. Chill touch. Scribe it. He didn't actually realize we tried to attack him. Oh, great. Mr. T, you are awesome. What's in here? An arrow. See a troglodyte. If they hit you, they can drain your strength. And you need to rest to get your strength back. And since the ability to rest is limited by our rations, not a good idea. And the weaker you get, the more difficult it is to fight. This can end this game very quickly in the beginning. So we will probably encounter them in level 2. Why am I not hitting shit here? Mr. T couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat. Well, there's nothing to be had here. So I guess we have to leave again. Ah, somebody is approaching. Yes, please open the door for me. That is awesome. Why is this hobgoblin so hard to hit? That is nothing. Do I have a gold key? Yeah, how about I throw it away then? Well, I guess that troglodyte was the only one on that level. There, you, there's, well, there's a certain chance that you might encounter one of the monsters that you will meet in the next level, already on the previous level, in like the end area. I guess that is what happened here. So we will have to deal with them on level 2. It will be a pain in the ass. That worked nicely. That is important though, the grappling hook, we need this. And that is all we can do in here. <laughs> I really like how it says just Mr. here instead of Mr. T. I guess it's okay if we call him by his first name. I, can, I think we are that close, we can call him Mr. Hello, Mr. Why does... Oh, really? Do I have a key for that? Actually, I do have a key for that. Oh, surprise. They were waiting for me. Oh, well. At least I have made more progress now than I did in the last two tries. That is a good thing. Look at the Hall of Fame. We have already more experience. And, yeah. Mr. T is on level 1 and has more experience than still life that starved to death on level 4 because we are playing on the hardest difficulty. 
That means we get more XP for killing our monsters and, you know, making progress with the game and stuff. You also get XP for reaching a level and so... So, therefore, it's a good idea. If you, like, find the stairs to the next level, just go down. Maybe you will get um, a level up for that and then you can come back to the earlier level and continue killing monsters. On top of that additional experience that you just received for visiting the next level. Hey, you closed the door. Oh yeah, that uh, button is very well hidden. But that was fun. That didn't lead us anywhere. Okay, we have to backtrack now. Let's go... Um, um, may we have two keys. We should probably go up first, because it's closer. Good night. Sometimes monsters drop keys too. Can be a bitch. Yeah, I think I have the key for that now. This one. And we get the red key. Exactly. This is what we needed down there. I want to go down. Mm, yeah, probably. Down here and to the right. Guess what? Crimson key, eh? Well, oh, that worked nicely. Thanks. A coin. So, we should probably go in here first. Fire key? I have a fire key. There's nothing in here. Great. <laughs> Great, and nothing in here. Thank you! Well, the uh, exit has to be somewhere here then. This way? Yes. It appears as though something caught its dinner here. Hey, what's that? Another ring. More cobwebs and another hobgoblin. Oh yeah. How funny is that? You need that uh, mallet here to open this door. And another gold coin. Well, the first gold coin actually. The other ones were ouch! Silver coins!
And fighter level 3. Uh, very nice. Two hit points. Not as much as I had hoped. What we'll have to make do with what we get. Pull the lever. A parchment. Oh well, guess what. Read it. Uh, maybe not. And then it is rumored that the power of fire resistance was bonded with the metal of Fang's armor. Uh huh. Fang's armor is fire resistant. Good to know. Hey, what's that? A staff. And that actually takes us down to the second level. Um, password removed, I know. There's an unofficial patch. Um, that uh, deals with some trouble with uh, cleric uh, spell progression and it also takes out um, the... Oh, hi. It... Ow! Oh. Gotta be kidding me. And it also takes out um, the copy protection. Thanks. Okay, we almost have it. What did we just kill? It probably was a bugbear. It was a bugbear. Club. So that worked nicely. Wait a second, before we go down... There's one thing I wanna check. Do we have... hello? Anything magical? Okay. The club is magical. And the staff is magical too. And this is... the amulet is magical? Although I don't really know what it does. And the rings are magical. And I, I don't know what they do, whatever man. But at least we have a few magical weapons. Just in case we come across a monster that can only be hurt by magical weapons. And I think with that we will take a break here. On level 2, if we can actually go down. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.